Welcome back everybody to the channel. Now, the f first round games was yet, uh, technically yesterday because I'm getting off this morning. Um, so let's talk about them. I'm going to recap them, um, upload it, and then head to bed. Um, <clears throat> didn't get to see Milwaukee and Miami that much on, uh, Minus like the end of the third and fourth, but you can just tell by the stat line. Um, Jimmy Butler, I think he was four for 22. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Giannis really didn't have a good game, even though his stat line looked good, he didn't, you know, shoot that well. Um, and then he gave up that blunder layup to Jimmy Butler, like, to tie the game to go to overtime. I don't know what Giannis was thinking there, but Milwaukee pulls this out and uh, wins by two. Drew Holiday was huge in the second half, and in overtime, man, was really, really huge. Um, that's – when I did my predictions, I said that's the big, you know – Game changer, Drew Holiday. Not Eric Bledsoe out there, but Drew Holiday. So that's my just quick thoughts on that. <laughs> my Dallas Mavericks. Of course, I'm going to have a smile on my face and everything. But that's I ain't going to bloat about it or anything because they still got to win three more. But I will say this. I am very, very proud of how they played. Especially, especially Tim, Jalen, Luca, Dorian. Those played outstanding. The um, rest of the team played good. Now... Let's talk about Kristaps Porzingis. He didn't have a good game. And um, they still won. Uh, Paul George and Kawhi, they didn't shoot, I don't think, 50% from the field. But the rest of the people, you know, didn't really do that well, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> so with Kristaps Porzingis... If he can struggle and we can still win games, that's very, very huge. Because um, what Kristaps, even if he struggles and is shooting bad, they still have to guard him. Like, they, they can't leave him open. Like, they might leave Dorian, Josh, Maxie, they might leave him them open. But they cannot leave KP open even if he's struggling. So that's the difference of what last year was because he was injured to this year. If he stays healthy and everything and he's, you know, full on for the playoffs, he can be like a decoy without even trying to be a decoy, if that makes sense. Um, that's what we were missing last year against him. And we would have beat them last year, and we're going to beat them this year. Just the, just the facts that's going to happen. You got to speak it into existence, like uh, LeVar, would, LeVar Ball would say. I can't believe I just quoted LeVar, but I did. Um, <clears throat> Brooklyn, Nets, and Celtics, I didn't get to watch like too much of this. But, you know, Celtics really came on, like, you know, the first quarter, halfway through the second, you know, first half overall. And then second half, the Nets is what happened to them. Uh, I'm not too surprised. Ain't going to talk about it much. Dallas and the Clippers game is the game that I watch the most. Uh, I did get to watch Denver and Portland a good bit. Uh, them going back and forth and everything. Um, Dame, man. Dame's crazy. 
Now, I'll say this. I think CJ will end up having the better series. Because Dame, Dame's had some bad struggling shooting like wise in playoff series. I like name, but man, that I mean that worries me like for this series and then you know on forward. But I still think Portland's going to win. So the uh, Portland takes game one. You know, um, all the first games that happened and everything, the first four games. I predicted, you know, the winners outright. I I wasn't surprised with the outcomes and everything. And uh, great first day of basketball and everything. And I can't wait for today. Uh, I won't be watching the 1 o'clock game. Sorry, sorry, Philly and Washington. I'm not going to be watching it. I'll be watching the Lakers and Suns game. I'll probably wake up as soon as it starts or a little after. So, uh Hope you guys enjoyed this quick recap of round one of the deck, the first day of the four games and everything. And I will see you guys uh, next time here on the Tyler Kelly Show. Peace, guys.